crash. What are you going to do now? Don't know. I'm history with the Shinra, and I've given up on the town. How about your wife? How about Shara? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the chills. What are you guys going to do? We're going after a man named Sephiroth. We'll have to get Rufus of the Shinra someday, too. I don't know about any of that, but... What the hell? Sign me up! How about it, everyone? I don't really care. Glad to be aboard, numbskulls! Numbskulls? Yeah, anyone stupid enough to go up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a numbskull. I like it. So, where are we headed? Rufus is going after Sephiroth towards the Temple of the Ancients. Really? Where is it, that Temple of the Ancients? Don't know. That numbskull kid was telling me he was heading the wrong direction, so maybe it's off this way. Let's just head for land and get some information. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. I can't imagine why. But, we are on board the Tiny Bronco. It works pretty much the same as the buggy, except now we can go into the ocean as long as it's shallow water. So, this little line here is the difference between shallow water and deep water, like the open ocean. We can't go that way. We spawn really close to the western continent which is where the game really wants us to go but where we're not going to go for just now unfortunately i do have to land here so i can go into the menu but we're not going this way you'll just have to trust me on that because i do want to bring our new party member in to the party let's uh let's send all of that for now it doesn't really matter just so i can take a look at him he comes equipped with a spear. He is a spear user. I don't have a spare spear for him. He comes with a gold armlet as well. Nothing that spectacular there. If we take a look at his stats, you can see he's got pretty good strength. He's not as good as Fred, but he is a couple levels lower, so he might be just as strong as Fred when all is said and done. Dexterity, not so good. He's not very accurate, unfortunately. His vitality decent remember that Fred's is plus 10 so his is normally 62 so it's actually pretty good vitality overall magic terrible even soap is better than him spirit pretty good average definitely some bulkiness there if I wanted to use that to my advantage luck once again not that important his is actually a little low for what that's worth. His attack right now is pretty low. Uh, actually, no, it's actually pretty high. It's higher than soaps. Almost as good as Fred's. Uh, the percentage is pretty low though. 97 is not that great. Defense, of course, is pretty good. He is equipped with a gold armlet after all. And then the magic attack, pretty much just what the magic is. Magic defense and defense percentage don't matter, but there you go, that is Crash. Let's take a look at his limits. His limits are, well, they start with boost jump. It attacks an opponent. Now, if I remember correctly, he does just have the normal limit break system, just like everybody else normally. And that is Crash. We will use him a little bit later. I'm going to continue to level up this party for now, though. But now that we do have a new piece of, well, I guess you could say transportation, we have a new method of transportation, that's for sure. We need to do some side questing. That's going to take a little bit of time. Hold on for one second. The first place we're going to go to on our makeshift raft, canoe, I'm not exactly sure what this is. It's a wrecked plane that is using its propellers as oars. In our tiny Bronco, we're going to go to the northern continent. 
There are a lot of places that are open to us. This is really the first place that I want to go to in case we get into fights somewhere along the way. There are some upgrades on the Northern Continent that I would like to get now and to get them as soon as possible, really. So we're going to head there. You don't get in random encounters when you are in the tiny Bronco. Uh, for what it's worth, you don't get in battles when you're in the river on the buggy either. But that's so rare that I didn't even bother pointing it out. You know, the, the rivers aren't that big of a deal anyway. So we're going to head in the tiny Bronco, never getting into a fight, which is pretty standard for the ocean in this game. With one glaring exception that we'll go over much, much later. We are going to head up here and head to the big dinosaur skull. And this is Bone Village here. Now, you can talk to this guy and he'll give you a whole bunch of information, but I don't want to go over that information just yet. I just want to talk to this guy. Want to buy something? I do! He has two sets of things that I want. He's got diamond bangles. This is, of course, an upgrade for everybody. As you can see, it's 11 up, even the people that I have with us now. We do have nine party members with us. As you can see, there's no more room for him down at the bottom. What happens if I want to get somebody else? Anyway, I want to get three of these diamond bangles, but to be honest, that's not the real reason that I'm here. The real reason that I'm here is the rune armless that we have here. These, as you can see, are actually a little bit of a downgrade in terms of defense for what I have now. I believe we're all on gold armlets. I believe they're armlets as well. Whatever we have, it's gold. But the rune armlets have double growth. I don't care if they're linked or not. Double growth is what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna get three of these. And we are going to equip those and keep those for a good portion of what we're doing. As far as I can remember, this is amongst the best double growth armors. It might actually be the best double growth armor in the game, which is kind of sad. But we're going to move on and see what else I can get here. Just the standard items that, oh my god, I have 73 high potions. What am I going to do with 73 high potions? Uh, basically, it looks like he has the same stuff that uh, we have had most of the game available to us at shops. It is. So nothing more to buy there. I don't really need more than three of the you armless know, I got now. I really don't need more than three defensive items ever. I just keep one spare so you can move stuff around. Uh, once again, we're not going to talk to anybody here just on the off chance that they do want to talk about plot. I don't want to talk about plot right now. I can't do the thing that this town is known for as far as I remember, but even if I could, I don't really want to right now. Instead, we're going to head up here into this kind of creepy forest and we are going to look look very carefully there it is there is the kyata kajata materia i've never known how to say that but it is quite a good materia it moves i didn't really get a chance to show that off but it will move around the screen and you have to go chase it down and then it'll move for a bit and then it'll teleport. It's a very tricky material to pick up and I want to get it now because well, I might forget it later. You'll kind of see why when we get there. Uh, this is a new summon. Of course it was bright red. Here it is. It doesn't actually say what it does, but I'll just go ahead and tell you. It has three elements on it. It deals fire, ice, and lightning damage, which is both good and bad at the same time. It's really good if you find an opponent that's weak to one of those elements, but it's bad because some enemies absorb those elements, which isn't good. If I remember right, if one enemy abs absorbs one element, that enemy will then absorb the entire attack. So, good and bad. I probably 
won't be using that too much. Yes, there is a little purple thing right here. I don't know what that is. It's always bugged the crap out of me. I keep on thinking there's another materia here. It's nothing. It must be some oversight, some glitch in the game. But it's been there. Mm, I hate it. Because I'm like, oh, there's another materia here. Nope. Every time I see that, it gets my hopes up only to be dashed once more. So we are pretty much done here. Before I leave though, I do want to actually equip the rune armlets. I forgot their name for a second. But we also got an Eden coat out of that last fight. And as you can see, it ups my defense, which of course is very nice. Lowers the defense percentage. That's not that big of a deal but it does have seven slots on it. That is awesome. However, I now have the rune armlet, so I'm not too concerned about that. Four double is better than seven normal. I swear that makes sense in my head, even though it sounded really weird coming out of my mouth. Uh, we're just gonna switch over to the rune armlets because it does give me the four double slots. I don't care if they're linked. Should I have trouble later on with any kind of boss fight or anything like that i'll switch over but you know, hopefully to something that's linked so that i can try to work stuff out but for now i just want double growth that is definitely what i am looking for and am i gonna be able to make it back i am hold on no actually since we're here let's talk about plot let's go back into bone village and we'll talk a little bit about it how you doing? Welcome to Bone Village, a town for nature lovers. What do you want? Have you seen Sephiroth? Oh, the man in a black cape. He was looking for the Temple of the Ancients. The Temple of the Ancients? It's way down south. It's right on the other side between this town and the Inland Sea. It's the pyramid that rises within the forest. How do you get into that? You'll need a keystone. What's a keystone? Just like it sounds, it's a rock that's a key. I heard that some rich guy has it. So, we need to find the keystone in order to get into the Temple of the Ancients, which is where everybody seems to think Sephiroth went. But we're gonna do that much, much later. Instead, we're gonna go for a long ride on our tiny Bronco. We're gonna go on a long, convoluted, somewhat complicated ride on our tiny Bronco. Now, you could go back to Nibbleheim and get the buggy, but I don't want to do that because then I'd have to go back and get the tiny Bronco. So we're going to just take the tiny Bronco all the way. Seriously? 